Many people tell you to never compare yourselves to models you see online or in magazines. That is because many people on social media nowadays go through Photoshop and are made even more skinny or more muscular. One of the main tools to do this is the liquify tool, and today I will be teaching you how to use it. This is an easy yet powerful tool and can totally alter your photos. So, first I will be editing this photo I got from albiba.com. And so, first I always like to make a duplicate layer. Then, if you make some mistake and you can't get rid of it, at least you can delete that layer and you can still go back to your original photo. So I'm going to name this layer girl in black dress because she's a girl in a black dress or a young woman. Then with this layer selected, I go to filter and then for my version, I go to distort and then liquify. For the version I use at school, the newer version, there is an option that is its own liquify option but I don't have that, it's not this way on this computer. On both versions I know of, sometimes also this liquify option comes up, but we won't be using that today. So distort, liquify, and then whichever version you have. Either way, this box pops up with the tools over here and the options for the tools over here. So the first tool is the warp tool. And basically you just select your brush size over here or you can use the bracket keys on your keyboard and you just kind of pull or push and it alters and moves the pixels pretty simple the next tool is the twirl clockwise tool it goes hand in hand with the twirl counterclockwise tool and so you basically just and you pick a spot and you can make it bigger or smaller and it alters and turns around that one point you chose. So, yeah. If you make a change you do not like, you can always press Control Z and it'll undo it. The next tool is the Pucker tool. And it's basically the opposite of the Bloat tool. Obviously, one puckers and one bloats. We'll make our arm smaller. And then this one makes stuff bigger. If you make one change you don't like, you, as I said earlier, you can always press Control Z. But if you make two changes, what do you do then? Do you get to start all over? No. Luckily, awesome Photoshop people made this awesome tool called the Reconstruct tool. It reconstructs everything you've edited. So there, now her face is back to normal. The last tool I'll be showing you is called the Shift Pixels tool. It's a pretty interesting tool. After playing around with it some, I figured out that if you turn this way in a circle, everything goes in. But if you turn it this way, everything goes out. So, honestly, I'm not sure what it's supposed to be used for. So if you bring it in, it goes in. If you do it that way, it makes it fatter. But they have it. So, there it is. So now that we have our girl, and I feel pretty happy with her, I come up here and press OK. And wait. There. Now we have our model. So if I come over here, I can see what she looks like now. And you won't even think she's that skinny. And what she looked like before. And she's probably been edited before I even got her. This shows how people can, you could look in the magazine and see this girl and, or someone similar and think that you're supposed to look like that, but not even that person look like that. So, now you know how to use the liquify tool. I hope you enjoyed this video and have fun editing your photos.